Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over and above Microsoft focusing a lot on AR in the Edge browser, Google is also focusing on bringing a lot more artificial intelligence into the Chrome web browser for desktop. And as I have been posting, they've been testing a new experimental AR section on the settings page and also been testing, um, been able to create a theme for the Google Chrome web browser using AR. Now, when I posted on um, these features previously, um, it hadn't rolled out in my region yet in Chrome Canary, which is a preview version of the browser. And in the last video I posted regarding AR in Google Chrome, I did say that if the features that uh, do start rolling out, rolling out in my region, I would let you guys know. So just to be able to show you in real time now, if we head to our main menu in Chrome Canary 122, which is the latest preview version, and head to Settings, yeah, you can see now that the experimental AR section uh, is now starting to become more widely available in Chrome Canary, and it's currently on a controlled rollout. So you may see this, you may not see this uh, in your region. I'm only seeing it on my Windows 11 laptop and not my Windows 10. So if we click on that, here we go. Experimental AR, try out experimental AR features. It says these features use AR are in early development and won't always get it right. Now, obviously, you can toggle this all on. And the first one that's rolled out in my region is create themes with AR. This is going to have about uh, three or four different AR components um, when it does uh, eventually, if and when it does eventually start rolling out. And as I have posted previously, we're also going to get a help me write section on this experimental AR page. And we're also going to get a tab organizer, which you can which you will have the option to toggle all of those features on because as mentioned, um, Google is focusing on bringing a lot more AR into the browser. And I'll leave uh, two previous videos I did post on some of those other features down below if you would like to play catch up and would like to go check that out. Now with uh, the create themes with AR, it says creates custom themes based on the subject, mood, visual style and color that you choose. To use this feature, open a new tab and click customize Chrome. So there we go, those are both toggled on and I'm going to head over to a new tab and click on Customize Chrome and just a quick spoiler alert, although it's available, this create theme with AR is not working but this will give us a good idea now because it's still early days but there is a little bit more to show you. So if we click on Change Theme, here we go, we've got Create Theme with AR. So let's just pull that out, that's not going to expand it so obviously it's only um, got that one kind of width. So create theme with AR, let's click on that and there we go. And you can create theme with AR, you can change and choose a subject. I'm going to go landscape and I'm just going to go forest. You can add optional details as an example, 3D animation, geometric animated colored pencil and so on. So we've got a lot of different animation styles here. I'm just going to choose photography and your mood. I'm going to choose spring, okay? And then you can also change uh, the different color and you click on create and there we go. At this stage though, um, it starts generating and then nothing happens. It says something went wrong, but nonetheless, this is basically another glimpse at this feature uh, using AR to create themes. And you'll notice here, it's also got that inspiration tag. So this is something I've also posted on previously. So there's still a lot of work to do here, as you can see been able to create a theme with AR over and above all the other different themes that are available and have been available in Google Chrome forever. So creating a theme with AR, um, obviously Google has got a lot of work still to do on this, but I thought, um, although I had posted on this previously, I just wanted to show you guys in real time if you would be interested. So this is early days, and obviously as the features get added, I will post and let you guys know accordingly. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.